we're given the function f of t, which is a piecewise defined function, and asked to write f of t in terms of the unit step function, or the heavy side step function defined below. Where u sub c of t, or u of the quantity t minus c, equals zero if t is less than c, and is equal to one if t is greater than or equal to c. And notice how we do have the graph of the function f of t shown here. Here's the piece where f of t equals negative three, here's where f of t equals nine, and here's where f of t equals four. There are two main methods for writing f of t in terms of the unit step function. We will discuss both. Notice how the first function value for f of t is negative three, so we'll begin by writing f of t equals negative three, but then notice how the function value changes. As soon as t is equal to three, the function value stays at nine when t is greater than or equal to three and less than six. Well, from negative three to nine is an increase of 12, so we want the function value to increase by 12 as soon as t reaches the value of positive three. So we'll write plus 12 times u sub three of t. Remember, u sub three of t is equal to one whenever t is greater than or equal to three. So whenever t is greater than or equal to three, now we have negative three plus 12 times one, which gives us the function value of nine. But then again, the function value changes when t is greater than or equal to six. So as soon as t equals six, notice how the function value decreases by five. So to decrease the function value to four, when t is greater than or equal to six, we can write minus five times u sub six of t. So notice how when t is less than three, we'd have negative three plus 12 times zero minus five times zero, which gives us a function value of negative three. When t is greater than or equal to three and less than six, we'd have f of t equals negative three plus 12 times one minus five times zero, which gives us a function value of nine. And then finally, when t is greater than or equal to six, the function value is negative three plus 12 times one minus five times one, which does equal four. So this is one technique to write f of t in terms of the unit step function. But now let's also look at a second technique. A second technique involves taking each function value and multiplying by a difference of unit step functions that will give the desired function value over a particular interval. For example, we can write f of t equals, we want the function value to be negative three when t is less than three, so we could write that as negative three times, and now we'll form a difference using the unit step function that would be equal to one when t is less than three, otherwise the difference would be zero. We can write this as one minus u sub three of t. Remember, whenever t is less than three, this would be equal to zero, so we'd have negative three times the quantity one minus zero, which would give us a function value of negative three. But when t is greater than or equal to three, u sub three of t is now one, and so the function value would be zero, which brings us to the next function value of positive nine. So using this technique, we would next write plus nine, the next function value, and then we want to have the function value be nine over the interval from three to six, including three and not including six. So using a difference of unit step functions, we would write u sub three of t minus u sub six of t. This difference will be one when t is greater than or equal to three and less than six. When t is greater than or equal to six, this difference would be zero, and so with this difference, which brings us to the last function value of four, so we'll have plus four, we want the function value to be four when t is greater than or equal to six, so we can just write plus four times u sub six of t. Whenever t is greater than or equal to six, u sub six of t is one, so we'd have four times one here. This would be nine times zero, this would be negative three times zero, giving us a function value of four. Now to show these are equivalent, let's go ahead and distribute and combine like terms. So we'd have f of t equals negative three and then plus three times u sub three of t plus nine times u sub three of t minus nine times u sub six of t, and then we still have plus four times u sub six of t. And now for our last step, we'll combine like terms here as well as here. 
and we are going to get the same result. We have f t equals negative three. Here we'll have plus twelve times u sub three of t, and then minus five times u sub six of t. So of course the result is the same. As long as the function values are constants like they are here, this first technique is obviously much faster, but as the piecewise defined function gets more complicated, using the second technique where we multiply the function value by a difference that turns that function value on or off over a particular interval becomes much more helpful. I hope you found this beneficial.